Good morning, friends. It's Miss Patty at Samuels Public Library here to do Star Wars story time. The month of May is called May the 4th Be With You here at Samuels. And as you can see, I have a special friend with me. This is Baby Yoda. So cute little bee. Yes, Baby Yoda is here to listen to story time with us. And I just want you to know that if you come in and check lots of books, you can register to maybe win Baby Yoda as a special prize. So he's so squishy and nice. So Baby Yoda is going to listen to our space story today. Yes, here we go. <laughs> so our first story is Here in Space, written and illustrated by David Milgram. Here in space. I live in space. I have lived here since birth. On a big ball of rock that is called planet Earth. You knew that, didn't you? Since I live on the Earth, I am living in space in our big solar system. And space is a strange and mysterious place. We do have some very interesting creatures, don't we, on planet Earth. Out here in space, there's a lot to explore. There's fire that flames from the Earth's inner core. Do you know what those are called? Yes, volcanoes. They're kind of scary, aren't they? Look at monkey roasting a marshmallow. There are oceans so cold that they freeze into land. Places like the Arctic and Antarctic where only penguins seem to have fun there. So cold. and many strange creatures I don't understand. Deep, deep in the ocean, they're still discovering new creatures and giving them new names. In space, there are powerful thundering waves. Perhaps you've seen some big waves at the ocean. and dark, eerily, eerie silences deep in the caves. Have you been to one of our caves? We have skyline caverns and Luray caverns that look like that, don't they? And they're very, very dark and quiet. There are man-made machines that can think on their own. <gasps> Checkmate. Imagine playing chess against a robot or a computer. And questions whose answers can never be known. So these are the great pyramids in Egypt. And we're still not sure exactly how they were built. All kinds of mysteries, huh? The earth is a wild, exciting frontier. And I am a rambling space pioneer. Going and exploring, going to new places. 
And here on the earth, in this magical place, there are some pretty unusual places on our planet. Don't you agree? I'm always at home in the wonder of space. Yay. I wanted to show you our this next week's little craft kit. In honor of our Star Wars theme, we have Baby Yoda puppet that you can make. So if you come in, you get a kit and you can make your very own Baby Yoda. So, oh, I have another book on space for you. This is Space Boy by Leo Landry. The moon shined brightly as Nicholas readied for bed. This is what he could hear. Wah, wah, his baby sister crying in her crib. She doesn't want to go to bed, does she? Woof, 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 the dog barking to be let out. And new sports, blah, blah, blah and the radio blaring on the front porch. And vroom, vroom, meow, beep, beep. Time for bed, Nicholas. Even the noises from his neighborhood floated through his open window. Too loud, thought Nicholas, holding his ears. And I'm not going to bed. In that moment, Nicholas made a decision. He tiptoed quietly to the kitchen. He packed two cheese and tomato sandwiches, one bottle of water, a bunch of grapes, and a cookie. He fit the food nicely into his lunchbox along with a napkin. Space suit, check. Next, Nicholas got dressed. Space boots, check. First, he climbed into his space suit. Then he put on his space boots. Helmet, check. At last, he put on his space helmet. Nicholas read his list aloud to make sure he was ready. If you're going to space, you have to do it right, huh? Then Nicholas walked outside to the backyard and climbed into his rocket. Rocket, check. He strapped himself in and prepared for takeoff. Nicholas knew exactly which buttons to push and when to push them. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. He shouted, the rocket soared into space. Look at all those buttons. Nicholas turned and looked out the window. Below, he could see the noisy world slowly fall away. See Earth looking so tiny and far away out his window. Above, he saw the moon. Almost there, he thought. The rocket touched down gently on the lunar surface. Lunar is another word for moon, you know. Nicholas opened the hatch, climbed down the ladder, and stepped onto the cold, dusty landscape. It was so quiet on the moon. This is what Nicholas could not hear. His baby sister crying, the dog barking, or the radio blaring. Can you imagine how quiet it is there? How nice, thought Nicholas. He spread out his blanket and unpacked his snack. A picnic on the moon. How about that?
the lack of gravity was a problem. The tomato slices rose softly into the atmosphere. Oh no, they looked as big and round as the earth as they slowly floated away. Nicholas held on to his sandwich and ate what was left. He ate his grapes, took a sip of water and saved his cookie for last. Delicious, he said to himself. And there go his tomatoes out into space. When he had finished, Nicholas went for a moonwalk. He bounded across huge craters and scaled miniature mountains. The beautiful blue earth appeared behind every peak, silent and peaceful. There he is. And look at all those stars. I don't think we could even count them all, could we? As Nicholas walked, he looked back at his footprints in the soft lunar surface, just like footprints at the beach, he thought, remembering how he had helped his baby sister take her very first steps toward the ocean in the cool, wet sand. Nicholas continued his walk. The vast, wide open spaces on the moon reminded him of his dog. Wouldn't he just love to run and run and run with no end in sight, Nicholas thought, though he would probably miss the green grass in our yard. And seeing the earth again, Nicholas remembered those warm summer nights when his family sat out on the porch in the light of the full moon. This moon. His moonwalk had brought him back to his spaceship. Back up the ladder went Nicholas. He climbed through the hatch and strapped himself in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. He shouted. The rocket soared into space. Nicholas could see the craters and the valleys of the silent moon slowly fall away. Ahead, he saw the earth. Soon, the rocket touched down gently in his backyard. Nicholas opened the hatch climbed down the ladder and stepped onto the moonlit grass. There he is. He went into his room and took off his space suit, his sp space helmet and his space boots. He tiptoed gently down the hallway. This is what he could see. Shh. Baby sister sleeping in her crib. The dog curled snugly in his bed and beep beep broom. His parents sitting together on the porch, listening to the radio. It was a lovely evening in his neighborhood. I'm ready for bed now, Nicholas told his parents. Good night. Good night, Nicholas, said his parents. It was good to be home. The end. Well, Nicholas had quite the adventure, didn't he? Well, thank you for joining me for story time, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And do come in and see us and see what all is happening for our Star Wars. May the fourth be with you. Take care. Bye-bye.